This video is a quick overview of the major features in the Limbo Parts Management System. This video will teach you how to do the following. Create a parts inventory, set automatic reorder reminders, and add parts to tasks. So let's get started by creating our parts inventory. We'll start by looking at the parts screen. That's what you see here. This is available to both managers and super users. You can also add parts from a spreadsheet by using this import function up here in the top right corner. However, for this video, I'm going to add my first part manually. So I'm just going to do that by clicking here on add a part. And the name of this part is going to be V-Belt 42 inches. Okay, now that I've created my part, I can see everything here. I can change which columns are visible here, but I'm going to click on this part and edit it from this screen. So the first thing my part needs is a part number and then I'm going to put in how many we have on hand. In this case, I have four. And the price of this part is $9.52. And the location is normally where I keep the part. So in this case, I'm going to put aisle three, unit 12, just to help me keep track of my inventory. Okay, and then the last step here I'm going to do is add in my category and I'm going to choose the HVAC category. Now, notice here at the bottom that I can actually add additional fields. If I click on this, you can see that I have a lot of different field types. I'm gonna highlight this one, for example. This is documents. This is a great way to upload manuals or spec sheets or anything else that would be important. However, for this one, I'm gonna choose just a simple text field, and I'm going to call this one the reorder link. and it's going to create an additional field here. Now I buy these from McMaster, so I'm just going to copy this link over from McMaster. I'm gonna put in here the McMaster part number. So I'm just gonna put in the link here just for my reference, and then since I copied that link over before, I'm just gonna add the link here and paste this in. And this will make it really useful, so whenever I need to reorder this part, all I have to do is click here. By the way, now that I've added this part, I just want to show you that there is a place to actually create a label for this part. And uh, we're going to come back to how these QR codes work later. We have now accomplished the first objective of our three, and that is to add a part into Limbo. Let's move on to our second objective, and that is creating reorder limits. So I do that by selecting this settings button here, and you can see that I have three different types. The first one is a minimum part quantity threshold. So let's say that I always want to have at least four of these on hand. All I have to do is put the number four here. And if I ever have fewer than four in my inventory, I'm going to get a reminder to order more of those parts. Let's actually choose who that reminder is going to go to right now. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to select Tony. He is our parts manager. So now he's going to be the one notified in these circumstances. Okay, let's move on to the next one and that is the maximum part. This is going to tell me how many I should be ordering when it's time to restock. And in this case, I'm gonna say that we want to have 10 on hand. Okay, and this last one is the stale threshold. Now, for all of these, negative one means that it's off, um, but I'm gonna set this to 365. And what that means is if I go 365 days without using this part, it's going to send me a reminder to let me know, hey, you haven't used this part in a while. This is a great feature for those parts that you think you should get rid of, but you're not sure if you use very often. Now that we've covered our second objective, let's move on to the third objective and add some parts to a task in Limbo. On the left side of my screen, you can see my inventory page, just like we made before. And on the right side, you can see my mobile device. I'm going to open up a work order that just came in. It says that I need to replace a broken belt on AC unit number one. So I'm going to open this up. I know that one of the things I need to do is pull apart from inventory. In this case, it's the V-Belt. And the way that I'm going to do that is select this button right here, which is the Add Part button. There are three ways that I can find this part in Limbo. I can search it here by using the search bar or scrolling through my list and selecting it. I can view parts that have been associated with this asset in the past. Or I can scan the appropriate QR code. When you select the scan QR code button, it's going to turn the camera on and all you have to do is get the QR code in the view of the camera as you can see here and then it's going to add the correct part to the task automatically. I have now added a V-belt to my task and on the inventory side, it's going to actually show that one of these parts is being reserved. Now I'm going to finish out the task 
by checking all my boxes and then selecting the complete button. And as always in Limbo, I need to put my time in. Let's say it took me eight minutes to change this belt and then I hit complete. And now that's taken care of. And also on the inventory side, my quantity went from four to three. Notice that there's a red triangle here. Now, if you remember, we set a minimum part quantity threshold of four, which means that we always want to have four on hand at all times. We've now gone below that number, and so it's time to order those parts. I'm now going to go to the manage work screen. If you remember, we designated Tony as the person who does the parts ordering. You can see that Tony now has a task to let him know that the V-belt quantity is below the minimum threshold. So we've now done the full process in Limbo. We've created a part, we've used that part on the task, and then we've seen how Limbo is going to create an automatic reorder once that part drops below the minimum threshold. The next thing I want to do is take you back to the parts page. Here if I select the part, I want to show you that there are some other tabs that we didn't go over before. The first one is the vendors. So here is where you can associate vendors that you have. And I'm going to do this manually by just selecting it from the list. This is great for reordering and for keeping track of which vendors supply which parts. We'll cover that in another video. The next tab I want to show you is the assets. If you remember, we use this V-belt on the AC unit number one. And so it's going to show here automatically because that part was used on a task that was for this AC unit. The next thing I want to show you is the log tab. Here you can see a complete history on everything that's ever been done for this part. Lastly is the reports tab where you can see a usage history and projections based on the PMs for this part. So that's the end of this tutorial, but if you want to stick around, you can learn more about how this feature will impact your business. So why is managing your parts inventory so important anyway? Having the right parts on hand is one of the quickest ways to reduce maintenance costs and increase production. Depending on your industry, a replacement part is needed from 20 to 70% of work orders. It is critical to replace the part as soon as possible because as many as three quarters of those problems are stopping production. If you don't have the right part on hand, then you'll have to get the part. Here are the two most common scenarios. You have to send someone to a specialty store. Our customers report that this adds an additional one to three hours of unproductive labor, depending on the location of the store. Keep in mind that this could also be adding one to three hours of downtime in your production. The other scenario is you have to order the part online and pay expedited shipping fees. For example, for this $20 fuse, I'll have to spend an additional $40 for the standard overnight shipping. If production is being held back by this part, then the downtime impact can be huge. It is not uncommon for a manufacturer to lose more than $10,000 in productivity due to not having a part on hand. Limbo can prevent either of these two scenarios, but you don't just have to take my word for it. Here you can hear it directly from one of our customers. My name is Benjamin Scott. I am the facility supervisor for Intercontinental Hotels Group. So Limbo saves me about 10 to 15 hours a week. Using Limbo and using that um, inventory management side of it, I was able to save enough a year to hire another maintenance person. I can track all of our supplies that come in, how they're getting used, look at those usage rates, and then also be able to forecast budgets for next year based off of uh, those rates of use. The way it works is through a QR code. So I have one guy go in, he scans it, puts the new level in, whatever it's dropped to. It'll automatically send a message to me to order more of that item to restock it. So it's much easier than going in manually, counting through each one, having to decide, you know, how many of this to buy, how many of that to buy. It just sends me lists every week of what I need to purchase. Limbo is just one of those systems where it's so easy to use um, that if you're spending time on paper, um, if you're spending time on another system that's not all encompassing everything that you're doing, then you need to use Limbo um, because it will be your one-stop shop for everything. If you would like more information about how to manage your parts inventory, feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help you reach your maintenance goals.